Greetings, Internet people. I'm the Dandroid, and today we're starting a brand new zoo here on Planet Zoo. I'll be playing in franchise mode. I've already played a few uh, a few zoos so far in franchise mode. I got a couple. Here's the Weiss Zoo. She's also enjoying this game. I started this one. This is the one we will be playing. Uh, just load on in here. Wait for the endless loading screen to take place. That's always a good time. Yeah, I picked up this zoo. I picked up this game uh, off of Steam for like ten bucks. Been enjoying it for a while. I thought I'd make a few videos about it and show you show you how to make a zoo. Starting off brand new today, so we got limited funds. Only forty thousand dollars over here, which never seems like enough. Make sure we pause this thing. Okay. Oop, oop, I forgot to pause it. So you start out with your basic little crappy zoo here. And here's how I like to start out uh, making a zoo. I like to go to the path first. You gotta do that. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this silly wooden log look. Never use this one, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I like to go align to uh, align to grid to make sure everything is square up, because in this damn game, my God, if you get anything slightly off square, the pathing thing can really be interesting. So I'll come out here a few a few clicks. Then what I'm going to do is let me see what what is that one two one two three. One, two, three. Let's go four on each side. And I'm a, oh, seven meters. That should cut it. Eventually, I'm going to make a habitat in here originally. Just one as they come in, and then a couple of exhibit animals here at the end. Some doing stalls and so forth. Eventually, this whole area will probably give way to kind of a big walkway, uh, like a garden kind of area in here. So it's kind of an elaborate entrance. But at first, when you've got almost no money, you can't really do it that way. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we'll go out ten. And then square it up. So that will be our original animal enclosures. And I might try to squeeze two in here. We'll see how it plays out. Um, this is probably overkill at first, but that that's the uh, I, I like to give people plenty of room to walk, especially here in the in the very beginning area because everybody likes it, it always seems like there's a pile of people right in this area so i know this is like severe overkill but i've only spent a thousand bucks it'll be okay um and like i say eventually this whole area will probably i'll delete the enclosures we have in here originally probably make these another one wide here and then there will be one two three four five five uh, blocks wide in the middle here that I can turn into like a, a garden food court maybe I don't know we'll see how it goes but for right now there's your square area let me just check on the uh, electricity coverage because your entrance thing does produce electricity on its own when you start but it doesn't get you very far, so I will definitely have to add a generator out here somewhere. That's fine. Uh, the staff buildings I'll probably stick over here off to the side because people hate looking at them. But we're doing all right as of now. I don't think it... No, it doesn't do water coverage, so I'm going to probably have to have a water pump anyway. So I'll throw a, a water pump and a generator out here. Well, it's not a generator. What do they call that? Uh... A transformer I guess it's called so yeah okay we'll do a transformer out there so here we go put a walkway over here for the staff 
I guess that red looks pretty decent. They don't need a seven meter wide path though. We'll knock that down to four. Don't need selecting grid. Probably, yeah. Yeah, that should be enough, because I'll probably put some drink vendors in here. Let's, let's go right here. I can make that a little longer, I think. That's what she said. There we go. So that should be good for the staff. Does that look crooked as hell? Sure does, doesn't it? Um, okay. As my mouse battery just died right there. Sorry about that, people. The, oh yeah, that's definitely crooked as hell. I think we can probably do better than that. Good lord. Um, maybe I do try to need to align the grid. Let's yeah, let's let's align the grid there because apparently doing it by eye, I don't know. I got walleye vision or something, and everything came out cockeyed. Okay, how's that look? Oh yeah, that's that's beautiful right there. Yeah, the Align to Grid tool can be your friend in this game for sure, because it definitely struggles to uh, the pathing. Oh my god, the pathing in this game. Yeah, you know, this is a really fun game. I, I would give it like an eight and a half out of ten. You know, it's really fun. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. But honestly, it would get a whole nother point if they could figure out how to make a path system that isn't just awful. Okay, so we're going to go in the facilities and in staff facilities and put down all the things we absolutely have to have to start a game. You have to have the animal trade center, else you can't get animals in the game. So let's plop him down over here. Right there should do. That's a thousand bucks down the drain. Money goes fast here early in the game for sure. You have to have a keeper hut. Put that right there. I'm leaving a little space here in the front so I can, uh, I don't know, put some bushes down or something. And we'll pretty these up later, but as, as for now, they can be the, uh, the ugly drywall looking exterior that just is just good to look at. I don't know, maybe we'll put some of these pre-made ones down. Maybe I'll get fancy and make something on my own. Who, who knows? We'll see how it goes. Oh, I don't know why I put the big keeper. Oops, probably could have done with the smaller one, but eh, whatever. It'll be fine. We'll go with the big guy. We'll need it. We'll need a bigger one anyway than the little guy. Uh, what else do we need? You know, the, the quarantine. I've never actually had an animal get get sick if I don't send it to quarantine. So we're just gonna leave that for now. Oh, research. I will do the small one of that because I can't be doing the large one on everything here. Else I'm gonna be broke real quick. Let's exit out of that so I can put this down by himself and rotate him. That looks square. Okay. Put you right there. So that was a keeper keeper hut? Yeah. No, oh, research center. Keeper hut's so over here. And we will need a staff room. I'm going to put a big staff room for now because... I'm going to need one eventually anyway. Well, hmm, what do I want to do here? No, let's do the small guy. I can't justify 6000 right now. We that This will definitely be getting replaced later on because they're always complaining they don't have enough. Uh, ooh, I thought I could slide him right in the hole right there. That is also what she said. Um, but yeah, they're always complaining they don't have enough staff room. But for right now, that's going to have to do them. And the vet surgery workshop. I don't know. Yeah, I probably do need the workshop too. Just spin this around. Getting too much crap built up here on the one side. Right there. Workshop. Staff room workshop. Vet surgery. Okay, we... 
Whatever. We'll do fine money-wise. I'm not worried. We're playing on medium here. So it'll all be fine. Plop that down there. And then double check our overlay here to make sure the negative impact isn't on the path. And oh boy, I could not have gotten that one closer. Look at that. That's like six inches away and the guesties would get would be getting mad. But that, that'll do. Yeah, okay. So we got all our facilities there. And I will definitely be hiding them with some trees and some fencing and make it so the people can't see them. I'll probably upgrade them to some of these nicer ones too. I kind of like the... Uh, the, the new world stuff. I always kind of, I don't know, it looks like a, I like the woodsy look, I guess. I don't know. I'm a simpleton when it comes to that. Some of these fancy are like the Indian ones and stuff. I don't know. It looks a little, I don't know, like a Chinese takeout restaurant or something. I'm not sure I'm in love with that. And these Forbidden City looking ones. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see how it goes. But for right now, that's all you need. I do have a whole bunch of uh, conservation credits already, because like I say, I've been playing this in franchise mode already. I got a whole bunch of animals already in in the storage area here, too. Um, I think that's okay, though. I'm going to look at it like, okay, we're in a franchise mode, so we've been, we've been uh, franchising out. We've had success in other locations, and now we're going to be franchising out to a brand new location. Um, and it's okay if you're franchising out. It's okay to think that maybe, maybe they're uh, shipping animals from other zoos to, to fill up this one. I'll try not to just rely on other zoo animals. I'll, I'll look at the, I'll look at the marketplace first on stuff. But if I can't find what I want and I happen to have one hanging out in the storage, I'll just use that one. But anyway, here we go. We've got our little square here. I'm going to plop down a barrier. Let me see, I think, I'm gonna make one big one here, see what the square footage is on it, and then come back. I've already researched a lot of this stuff, so that, you know, you might not have access, if you just picked up the game, you might not have access to some of these fences, but, you know, whatever. I, the research goes fast enough, so if you know, just play a game for a while, and you, and you might screw up your first zoo anyway. Uh, trust me, I did. I went broke on my first zoo, made a few mistakes that hopefully you will be able to avoid. Let's move this up a little bit. I always like to put it at about 15 feet. That gives you enough room to kind of move things around after the fact, or 15 meters, I guess. And of course, it's backwards, but we can fix that later. Why isn't this clicking? What's going on here? Come on, you. Why isn't it clicking? Come on. Okay, let's undo that. What did I do wrong? Sometimes this game is just a little, I don't know, a little picky about some stuff. Never really understand why it does what it does. See, now it's fine. You know, I usually just cut the corner like that and then I move the poles around instead of trying to like fiddle around with the length of it and try to get everything exactly right. Like you say, I'm just gonna do the whole area. Now, well, you know what? That is too much. That's, I, I, no, nah, that's too much. For what I'm planning on doing first, I don't think that I need the whole area. I think I will try to divide this into two two animal exhibits. Like I say, get the gate, get the fence down first. I know it looks like crap, no big deal. We will go in and edit the barrier and just move things around. So we'll pull in the middle here, grab it, pull it over. I think that one looks like it's out a little bit too. Yeah, they have, there we go, much better. Pull you over. Come on, come on now, snap in, there you go. That looks crooked as hell there as well. I wish there was like an angle 
uh, thing that said this is a 90 degree angle right here, but you do kind of have to like, I don't know, mess with it yourself, I guess. Like I say, it's not the end of the world anyway, because I'm probably going to um, tear all this out when we get when we get some real money in this place. Right now, like I say, 40 grand. You're not getting far with that. And this is all facing the wrong damn direction, so let's highlight everything. Uh, go over here. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Oh, one way. There we go. So now we got it so you can actually look in. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, we're going to need a gate for the thing. Habitat gate. I don't know why it's moving the whole the whole barrier, but we'll just stick it here for now. That will be fine. And we have a habitat, except for this pane of glass here for some reason is backwards. Don't know why. Come on. The whole rest of them got... Okay, and you... All right, can we see the whole thing now? I don't know why that one little section there... Okay, we can definitely see all the way around now. All right, habitat. I'm going to click on this. Oh, I'm in edit mode. Let's get out of there. All right. Habitat 1. This is going to be a camel habitat. I think that's going to be my first one. Why that's the first one? I don't know. Because I've done ostriches and warthogs and stuff like that in the past. And that's fine. Um, those are some cheapo animals that are good to start with if you're so inclined. I'm just tired of seeing ostriches and warthogs, so we're going to go with camels. And they sell a little bit better in the animal trading thing anyway. Um, well, not right now. I guess they're, they're selling for 100, 100 credits a pop. Um, let's pick up a couple, actually. Yeah. This guy's the only guy, so let's get us a male camel. Apparently you need one of those. That one's a little on the old side. Well, they're all on the old side, I guess. Who's got the best genes here? Not a lot of winners there, but I think uh, Chinawa or Chinua, whatever her name is, that's our new camel. So we're going to go... Oh, oh, almost forgot. i got to hire a, a zookeeper and stuff here. Uh, staff. Well, we're going to need a caretaker. Got to have one of those to start out with. Uh, you will need a keeper to start out with. A mechanic. There's no getting around some of these bills. The vendors come when you play when you place a, a drink stand or whatever. They come with a vendor, so you don't have to go and hire one of those. And you can get away without security for a little bit. You do need a vet, though. So there's your four hovering staff employees there. And they'll fall down as soon as I... Hit the, hit the start button, I guess. Oh, there they go. There's our boys. Or or ladies, I don't know. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh there's a... Let's, let's see what uh, we got. Uh, Christian. Kristen. Okay, Kristen. That's our keeper. Rest of, rest of them, I don't know. Wanda. Hmm, all right. So there's our people. Chang Velasquez Barrera. Okay. Chang. Okay, so here's our habitat. Let's go ahead and get our animal in there. I always like to throw the animal in first. Uh, who did we pick up? This guy? Yeah, that looks like one we'd pick up. He's not very good. I do have a better guy right here, but uh, we'll go with the trade market one. That's fine. Let's send him to the zoo. I always like to throw one animal in the habitat first. Oops, oops, hold on now, hold on, hold on. Dandroid, slow your roll. Gotta go in here and just create a work zone. I always forget to do that. Make sure you add everything that's red to your new work zone. That way the mechanics and the, and the keepers can actually do their jobs if they're if it's out of the work zone they apparently don't realize that it exists 
But there we go. We'll just keep it work zone one for now. We don't need a second work zone or anything for quite quite a few more habitats before it's going to be too big. So we got... It's coming along there pretty decent. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out here and grab some of these trees. Your whole area here, you've got this whole area to play around with. And these trees are free to begin with. So you can go ahead and... Ooh, that's a big tall guy. Okay, well, we got that guy. They got any shorter ones here? Uh, what's this guy look like? Yeah, that looks a little bit different. All right, that's a, yeah, I like this guy better. Um, let's move, go ahead and move this guy out of the... I don't like that giant, giant tree right there. Go back over here. Give the guest a little shade. Because we are in a tropical setting, so it's probably going to be a hotter environment. So a little shade might not hurt anything. Well, I like these fat trees. What is it? A wimba tree. I have no idea what a wimba tree is. Is that even a real thing? Eh, it must be. Why would they stick it in the game if it's just some made-up tree? Let's go with you. I said move. Okay, there we go. Was not listening to me there for a second. Let's grab one of these skinny guys. We don't want all the same damn trees. That guy. Maybe one more tree. Boy, I wish it was this easy to move trees in real life. Oh my god. I had this, I had this house, my last house. Uh, I bought the thing and the backyard was just overrun with trees. I am an honorary lumberjack at this point. I cut down so many trees. Uh, I, I finally uh, made it into a pretty nice yard, but boy, it took a few years to get rid of the giant amount of excess trees that were back there. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So there we go. We got a little, it looks like a tennis court. I think I've created a, this isn't a, this isn't a zoo simulation game. Apparently it's a tennis court simulation game, but whatever. That's what we got for right now. We've got a tennis court. Let's fast forward it a little bit, get that animal in there, because then I need to go ahead and pause it again. What, 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 where are you going, guys? Oh, okay. I thought they were having a strike or something, walking off the job. Somebody getting that, uh, that camel? Oh, what do you got here? I need a quarantine, eh. Oop, oh, is this backwards? Oh, I think I might have put that thing backwards. What was I doing here? Where was I on that one? Let me go back and make sure that's not stupid looking. Okay, that looks about right. What is... Oh, it made me put... Oh, I'm an idiot. Well... All right, we're burning through cash, but it'll be fine. Why are they not delivering that animal? It should be, I think this goofball here is usually who brings the animal. Somebody bring me my animal. Did I not click on that? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's go back to my camels here. Sukabatar. Is that your name? Okay, delivery scheduled. I must have not clicked on it right. There he goes. Get over there and bring out your box. Okay. We're burning through cash here. As soon as he pops up there, he's going to hate the habitat most likely. But that's fine. We will build this thing on the cheap for him and make him happy. Well, actually, it's not so bad. Uh, he's, yeah. yeah, he doesn't hate it too much. He does need to uh, get rid of some of the long grass. So let's go in here. We'll do some. We'll do some landscaping first and foremost. We'll throw some sand in here. They always like. I mean, they're camels. I'm assuming they like some sand. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. It's okay if there's a little grassy spot. I'm probably going to uh, give them a watering hole here anyway. Although they're camels, they'll probably 
Probably don't need any swimming or anything. Okay, I think I've probably gone overboard on the sand. Let's put a little coarse sand in there to give it a little variation. I like to kind of have a mottled thing. I don't like having too much stripes. Um, oh, it needs more long grass now. I apparently have gone overboard. Oh, nope, nope. I was reading that wrong. It's still too much. It needs some rock. Okay, after after playing this this much time, I still can't read the, the damn menu thing. It's okay. Got enough rock. I'll probably throw some short grass in there. soil. Maybe there's like a little dirt spot over here. Okay. Everything is green. See what they like for plants. They don't apparently have any need for plants. Um, we'll give them some plants anyway eventually, but that it makes them happy for now, I guess. Um... Okay, they're going to need some hard shelter. I'm not going to build anything right now. Um, I, I do like to kind of make my own like rock shelters and stuff for some of the animals. But for right now, we can probably just do it on the easy. We'll put in a, put in a shelter here that's pre-made. What do we have? Oh. No, that's not it. I think that's one I down. Yeah, that's one I downloaded from Steam. There's some Steam things in here. I'll try not to use the Steam things all that much because you may or may not have them if you're if you've just picked up the game. Although I do recommend getting them off of Steam. It does look really uh, a lot better. But we can go with just a simple pre pre made hard shelter for now. We'll put that over over here, I guess. Mm, right there. See if that does it for him. Hard shelter, 100%. Okay, whoops, oh, let's slow that down. He was running, running like a racehorse. Okay, so technically right there you've got enough... You've got enough of plants and everything. Let's click on this camel. Let's read some more about the camel and see, see what kind of plants he likes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You need 650 meters for land requirement. How big is this habitat? If you click on the gate here, I believe it shows you 1,400. So we got, this is way more than land than he actually needs, which that's fine. We'll get a herd of them in here. He'll have a, he'll have a family. Well, wow. speaking of family, let's go ahead and get his girlfriend in here. Where, where'd she go? Oh, Chinua. That's right. You go in there with, with your friend. Uh, our little friend there is going to get the uh, get his girl. Let's click back on here. What kind of plant life do they... Yeah, they live to be 40 years old. Okay, okay. Sexual maturity, six years. That's important because that's how long it takes before the babies you can sell them and and make some conservation credits off of them uh, and they're fertile most of their life so you know congratulations guys okay i've got a bunch of stuff here already researched like you say if you if you're new to the game you probably don't have all this research but it, it's not all that hard just play the game a little bit you'll be fine um let's give them a Grab ball. I probably ought to write some of this stuff down. Feeder ball. Hanging feeder. Herb scent marker. Seems like every herbivore in the game likes this herb scent marker thing, whatever that is. Okay. So let's go into habitat here. Give them some enrichment items. See if I can remember. Oh, grab ball. I know I saw that thing. Put that over here in the corner. 
grazer feed. Yeah, I think that sounded familiar. We'll put that down. The ever popular herb scent marker. Um, what else was it that they liked? The, the rubbing post? Yes, yes, rubbing post. I don't know why that doesn't want to click in over here. Whatever, it can go there. And then scratching trees. They like these things. And we need some foliage anyway, so let's go ahead and put put a couple of them down. They're only a hundred bucks. Go ahead and put one there and come back there, I guess. We definitely need some more plant life in here. That is a sad little habitat. But for right now, it will probably make them happy. Let's click on on all of this stuff. Yeah, enrichment, 100% habitat. Oh, there's too much short grass, apparently. Maybe I'll throw some more sand or something in there, I guess. There we go. I well, must have did something that added short grass to the equation. Oh, we're getting guests coming in. Oh, oh slow it down, slow it down. You definitely, everything is always like so hectic in this game. When you, whenever you unpause it, it's always amazing how fast things happen. So, oh, we haven't quite got our second camel in, but that's okay. That's okay. For now, I always like to gotta have an ATM because they've gotta have money in their pocket, else you can't get it out of their pocket. So let's always put down a couple ATMs. Where do we want to do that? Uh, put one here for now and one on the other side. Give them plenty of opportunity and probably one out here too, actually. Give them their ATM. Like I say, you can't get the money out of their pocket if you can't if they can't get the money into their pocket. Speaking of getting money out of their pocket, donation bins. Oh my god, it's how you make most of your money, so definitely put down an adequate supply of donation bins. There you go. And then I will need these message, these uh, information boards to educate your guests. Always got to have the education up, else you're not going to get high reviews. And if you don't get high reviews, you're not going to get five star habitats, and the guests won't be as happy, and yada, yada, yada. Oh, here we go. Habitat Education Board. I usually just use the one on legs. And I'll put down at least one on each side at this point. They're only 40 bucks a piece. You know what? I'll, I'll do two on the long side. One by each uh, donation bin. Just coincidence, I assure you. I'm definitely not trying to... You've been educated. Now give me your money. I mean, that's what the college system's for, right? All right, line that up just right. There we go. One more over here. Okay. Make sure you set this to your species, Bactrian camels. I was doing a little research before I started. I knew I was going to start out with camels, so I was looking, you know, thinking about you know, Bactrian camels. I looked it up. Uh, I didn't realize that the uh, the two hump ones are the Bactrian camels. Apparently there's two kinds of camels. There are Bactrian camels and uh, the hell are the other ones called? Uh, dur duram dromedary? Dromedary camels? I guess those are the one hump ones. Little uh, little factoids for you here about camels. Everybody thinks that the uh, the hump stores water. It actually does not store water. It's a fat supply that they can live off of for up to two months at a time. So that's just where they store their fat right there. That's a fuzzy little guy too. Look at him. He's looking at us. 
Hmm. But yeah, their humps store fat. And they can drink up to 40 gallons at a time. 40 gallons. That's like a giant fish tank right there. How the hell do they drink 40 gallons at a time without, like, rupturing a stomach or something? But apparently they can do that. Also, little info for you, they have thick lips. And I don't mean that in a racist way. They have thick lips that allow them to eat thorny vegetation that other animals can't. That's part of why they're so good at surviving in deserts, is they can eat cactuses and thorn bushes and pretty much anything that comes across their way, due in part to their thick padded lips that don't get all tore up from eating that crap. Also living in the desert, apparently they have nostrils that can be completely closed in sandstorms to keep them from breathing in the sand. And I probably shouldn't be this close to them, because if you've ever seen Aladdin, you'll know that, look out, they spit. Yes, camels can spit at you if you get too close, but there you go. Little uh, camel factoid. Also, they're called Bactrian camels, because apparently uh, Bactria was a... Uh, it was part of the uh, Persian. It was the Persian Empire that got conquered by Alexander the Great in like 230 uh, BC. Um, it was a uh, a Greek word that that translated the Bactria. That's uh, that was the area that they that the Greeks called it. Bactria is roughly uh, in the Iran, Afghanistan, all of the other stands. That whole area that was known as Bactria to the Greeks. It later became the part of the Seleucid Empire. If you're if you're kind of a, if you're a history nerd like me, that the uh, Seleucid Empire was named after Seleucid, Seleucus, which was one of Alexander the Great's uh, generals. Uh, but yeah, that's why they still call them Bactrian camels today, based on a Hellenistic word uh, off of the Greek language. Anyway, little little knowledge dump for you. Make, you know, there you go. So we got Habitat 1. We got our ha our camels, and they are happy. We've got our ATMs down, education. You are going to need these speakers, too. If you want to educate people, you always got to place these speakers down and give them, a little, uh, give them a little lesson while they're standing there gawking at the camels. I usually just stick them on the back of the... Of the education boards or um, that's actually probably on the fence but no it's on the board okay good enough go over here these are 100 bucks a pop so i mean they do kind of add up in a hurry but all, like i say you have to have the education on them why did i put that so far from the fence let me let me move that a little bit that is that's like a foot and a half from the fence that looks stupid oh good lord now the now the thing came undone Whatever, we'll move it. It'll be fine. Move that, and move this guy again. Not my best move. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. That doesn't look quite as stupid. So, let's educate them about Bactrian camels. Some of that education I just did for you, I guess. Make sure the speaker... Yeah, that seems about right. We'll leave them at 7 meters. 7 feet, I don't know. Is that poking through the... No, it's not. Yeah, it is poking through up there. Yeah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Let's put it at the... Put it at the base of the thing. There. Let's move. Come on. Down here. There you go. Seven... Seven meters. About Bactrian camels. There we go, and the board is already set up. Another speaker. Move you down here. More camel information. Back to seven. And the last guy. Here we go. Click on that. Seven, come on, seven, seven. There we go. So that should pretty much educate them everywhere they go. There's education and there's donation buckets. That is fine for a habitat right there. We still got 16,000 
Yeah, 700. Plenty of money. Probably take it down to probably about 5,000 by the time we get out of here. Uh, do I want to do two animals right off the right out of the gates here? Uh, probably not. No, it seems like it's probably too much right right to begin with. Uh, we're gonna have to add some guest facilities though. They will need a toilet for sure. If I can find toilets, okay. We'll just put down the cheapo one, the $2,000 ugly as hell one. That's fine for now. Give them a bathroom to go to. Yeah, let's center that up a little bit. There. Well, let me move that back a little. They do tend to queue up for some of these things, and I don't want them. We'll do it one square back. That way they can form a line and they're not standing out here blocking people. Although we've, we've thought this out in advance and made the walkway way bigger than it really needed to be for this stage in the game anyway. So they're not going to be blocking anybody here. They're going to have plenty of, of space. But we do... Let's see where that... Let me see that power overlay again. If I, if I leave it to just... You know, right now... If I just leave everything up here in the front, I don't need a second transformer. So let's just, yeah, let's do it that way this time around. Sometimes I go over overboard a little bit when I'm building these things. You know what, I don't even need that. Get my $187 back. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. I got a plan here, boys and girls. I have a plan, believe it or not. Okay, we're going to go back to facilities. Put down a drink stand. Oh, let me exit out of that. Gulpy. I'm always looking for gulpy soda. That's always my go-to number one drink stand. Because these people are always, 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 and I do mean always, thirsty. We'll put that, like, this one, like I say, they always, this one does create a little bit of a line. So we'll make that one full step back. We've got the gulpy soda, and then I usually go with the chief beef, I think, or beef chief, or I don't know, whatever the hell they call it here. Let's, where is it? Oh, I'm, I'm not in the food category. That'll slow me down. Like I say, I've, I've, I've researched all of these, so originally, I think you will only have the beef one and the soda one. You've got to do some research to get uh, some of the other ones. Oh, chief, chief beef. That's what that's what it, that's what it was called. Okay, let's rotate that around. Get out of here. Don't want to group them together like that. Square it up. One step back, and there we go. Those are two thousand bucks a pop, so they add up in a hurry. But also, they make you money. So you know, it's kind of your. Damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Let's check that. I want to make sure the uh, negative impact thing isn't affecting that bathroom. Oh, no. We have plenty of space there. And it's not over the... Yep, perfect placement there. They won't care about any of that stuff, even though it is kind of ugly. But they got that. They got... Okay. And now, here's what I like to do... Uh, uh, be, to begin out in this thing, I like to place down an exhibit animal, if I could remember where the hell exhibit animal. Oh, okay, small exhibits. This is where you make a good bit of money at first. It's expensive, but it makes you money because these things, the exhibit animals, pump out a lot of babies. And babies you can sell and make pretty good money off of so it's a good idea to start with at least one of these and when you do that you have to go back and where's the education thing i always forget where the education thing is at place these exhibit education boards down that's another 30 bucks where it starts starting to add up in a hurry here i, I usually like to stick right in the middle in front 
like that on each side. Now we're probably too close to the speaker here. They're going to have overlapping stuff. So let's move the, that down to a smaller radius. Then we will put a speaker. I usually dump the speaker on top up here, out of the way. Oh, I need an animal or a spider or whatever I'm getting here. Let's see what's available. Exhibit trading. What's out there? What's out there? Do the frogs usually breed a lot. These brown snakes always breed a lot too. So that might be an opportunity there. And we are getting low on money, so we're going to have to call it a day here pretty quick. We can't go too can't go too much deeper in debt, but we can probably do a little bit. Oh, we have a gold frog and a bronze frog there, a boy and a girl. Let's do frogs. We got these golden poison frog things here. Send that to zoo. All right. Where did that other frog go? Send you to the zoo. Always, 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 as soon as you put anything in these things, make sure you set up your boards. Set up your speakers. Make sure you're educating your guest well. Check out your range on this. Oh, I didn't put a speaking point. Okay, that's that's perfect. Make sure these aren't overlapping, because if the guests have to walk through overlapping speakers, they get annoyed by too much noise and stuff in their way. Now, check out your frogs. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Make sure you look at their temperature range and their humidity range. Make sure they're happy. They can go 79 to 88. So we got to set this down. Do 80, eh, 83, and then humidity 83%. It's, oh, it's already at 83%, so we can unpause that. And now it's starting to drop. Drop, 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 okay. I have already researched some of this uh, enrichment stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click that on. Another thing you're gonna have to research when you start. But that will make for a happy reproductive frog and boy are these guys reproductive too they have like six or seven kids every damn time oh, oh, oh. also let me uh, go ahead and duplicate this guy and move move a couple over here give them ample chances to take the money out of their pocket that's that's how you do this thing so that is our basic zoo right there we've got one animal habitat we have a drink. Oh, and they're already lining up to spend drinks. All right, how's our money doing? 7275 Let's see if that's good. It appears to be going up. That's what you're looking for. We're already making money. If you start out with this, you will do just fine money-wise. You just have to start slow. Keep it to one, maybe two habitats. And an enrichment animal. Uh, an exhibit animal, I mean. And you'll do fine. Let's see, are they donating anything? I don't know why they're all going over this way. Camels, well, I guess the camels are over here. That's probably why. Nobody's donating anything yet, but we are still going up very slowly. Oh, oh, it says we're going down, but... Oh, oh, I did forget something here, though. I did forget something. Let me, let me redo this. I had to go back into the habitat. Check out what they're temperature ranges are how do I where where do I see that I always forget where I'm seeing this well you can go to the zoopedia thing I'm pretty sure it tells you there oh negative 40 to 111 Ooh, we're at 108 so they are right there right there I don't know well, we'll see maybe it'll let us know if it's too hot for them I suppose but I didn't realize it was 108 degrees outside that's 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 warm Okay, so I didn't put a water feature in here because I didn't want to drop down a, a water treatment thing. So we haven't got that as of yet. So I'm going to have to do a little bit, a little bit of work. Oh, oh, I also didn't put any bedding down. I always go with the medium bedding because I feel, some, I think some animals, it's like they need, 
They need like one bed a piece or something. I don't know. All right, so there's a, there's some bedding down for them, and we can make that look a little better here. Let's see. How do we, let's sexy this up somehow. I don't know why it's doing like a snap in the place thing. I don't get uh, ah, there. The position snap thing was on. I wondered why it looked like trash. Okay, so give them plenty of bedding so they can go in there and be comfortable. We also I didn't put any water in the habitat. I need to do that and food. I think they need the food trough. Pretty sure that's the one they need. And we are getting close to the Mendoza line here, money-wise. People always like to watch them eat, so try to put that by... I always... Well, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. But I always like to try to put it right next to a donation bin. And then there's a water thing. I always like to go with this one here. Give them a, give them a place to get a drink. So now they got food and water and toys and a shelter with some bedding. They're, they're going to be happy campers right there. Oh, oh, what one more thing we need to do before we uh, call this a day is go back to the work zone and add all of this crap into the work. Oh, oh, wait, I've created another work zone. I did not want to do that. Get out of there. I wanted to edit this work zone. There we go. Just add anything that is red into the work zone. Make sure your mechanics can fix it. Your keepers can get to it. There you go. There's your basic zoo right there. Let's give it. A, let's just let it run for a little bit here and see where we're see where we're at. It says we're losing money. Sixty four hundred. Sixty four fifty. Let's see. Let it let it run a little bit. We'll probably start donating here pretty soon, too. Get a few donations coming in. That'll help. I'm hesitant to add any more... Uh, any more stands to get money out of their pocket. I mean, I, I usually like to add, like, an info booth pretty early on into the game. And, uh... The hats and balloons... They love hats and balloons, so that'll be one of the, that'll be some of the ones I add next off. I will probably add a couple of vendors out in this area, maybe one over here too. Uh, next episode, we will be adding another habitat out here, and uh, we'll probably be doing a little landscaping and stuff too. I, I do like to have a uh, a, a good-looking zoo, and I think I'm liking this this wooden walkway thing here. I've never used this one before because I thought it would look really terrible in like larger areas, but I kind of like it actually. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So there is my zoo right there and we're, we're making money. Hell, we've already made a thousand dollars. We're making plenty of money off of this thing. I think with that I'm gonna call it a day. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I say, there will be more episodes coming. I'm, I'm going to plan on doing at least 10 to 20 episodes. Well, it'll depend on how, you know, how much feedback I get from from you guys. Uh, and on that, you might, you know, if you're liking what you're seeing, feel free to go ahead down below and subscribe. Uh, and uh, leave, leave a combat, co comment, a little feedback on how, what you think of the zoo. Oop, it's getting dark. I probably need to put up some lighting or, or whatever, make it look. Oh, this guy, oh, you know what we forgot? Oh, my God. Oh my god, I almost screwed it all up. I forgot garbage bins. I forgot that the people in this game are absolute savages. If they don't have a garbage can within 15 feet of them, they just throw it on the ground. Um, so yeah, I better put down some bins. Got all of this selection here. I, I always use this one. For some reason, that's my go-to. I'm not going to do it in this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this guy, the Indian bin. And we'll see what that looks like. A lot of vendors and stuff up here, so we'll put put one right there. Put one on each corner. Because like I say, if they don't have a bin right, right handy, they will just straight up throw it on the ground. They were not raised correctly at all. 
And I know there's nothing out here, but eventually there will be. So I'm just going to go ahead. They're only 10 bucks a pop, so I will just put them out here right now and be done with that. I think I'm going to put one more out here. This would be a good place for a, a bench right here, too. I could, I could see uh, people... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's, let's, where do I find the benches? What bench do I want to use? Well, I'm kind of going with a wooden thing, so let's do this wood one here. We will do one here, one there. Give them a couple benches to sit down while they eat their eat their hamburger. Anyway, on that note, now that I've uh, resolved the bin thing, I saw this guy cleaning up and I was like, oh god, he's already trash on the ground. So if you go to the negative impact thing, there it is. I've been running for all of five seconds and they've already thrown trash on the ground. I don't even know where they, they must have brought it with them to throw on the ground for god's sakes, but there it is. But he's on it. He's on the job now, so we got that taken care of. All right, like I said all, uh, a minute ago, if you're liking what you're seeing, please feel free to comment, leave a leave a, leave a comment. I will read through every comment. Uh, and subscribe. That would be ideal. Please subscribe. With that, goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.